The settlement discussions between the Namibia Tourism Board and the Mundial Telecomsal, which organized the aborted Kora Music Awards, was held before Judge Herman Osthuizen and is not open to the public at this stage. The decision is being questioned by the public due to the fact that the $23 million alleged corruption case involves public funds, therefore should be open to public scrutiny. A request for in-camera hearing was done, which is a normal practice and acceptable in court to keep the discussion secret, and such permission was granted. According to Oket Johnson, Public Relations Deputy Director in the Office of the Judiciary says, it is under the discretion of the presiding judge to either reject or approve a request from the litigants in any matter where a request of this nature is sought. Um, the litigants in this specific case, uh, which is the Namibian Tourism Board and Telecom Mundial, uh, have requested the presiding judge, made an application, uh, to have such uh, discussions in camera, which means behind closed doors, while they are still busy with discussions. Jansen further stated, the judiciary has and will always be transparent. He, however, refuted allegations that the court has taken sides, as many other decisions of this nature have been taken in the past. He said a settlement agreement is expected, and if not reached, an open trial will start, which the public can attend. If the settlement agreement is reached, um, that is also at liberty to be confidential. Um, this is not the first time that matters are being held in camera. It's not going to be the last time. It is a normal judicial process uh, on application. At this point in time, I cannot say if it will be uh, made public or not. I think we must just wait. The, the, I mean, the case is still before court. It's, it's still sub -judicate. So we don't want to speak to, to the merits of the case. The judiciary also advised litigants in court cases to conclude such cases through settlement discussions as it serves time and the resources if a trial is avoided. The matter continues before Judge Oosthuizen on November 9th. Salomo Tenga, NBC News, Finduk.